Three months after exchanging vows in the globally watched wedding of the century, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are starting the next big chapter in their lives starting a family. Palace insiders have confirmed recent reports that the newlyweds are expecting twins, life and style reports. Adding to the excitement, friends close to the couple are buzzing that the Duchess is pregnant with two girls. They have been busy drawing up a list of baby names, only for girls, a source tells the U.S. publication. Harry is over the moon. He'll let it slip to pals that double trouble lies ahead, the insider dished, calling the twins miracle babies, Harry has never been happier. Meghan is thrilled to be pregnant, adds the source, noting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been visiting a fertility doctor. The pregnancy is in its early stages, but Meghan, 37, and Harry, 33, are already thinking ahead and narrowing down a list of names, life and style claims. Although the decision isn't final, Harry and Meghan have agreed for now that Diana and Elizabeth should be their baby's names, a source reveals. Kate Middleton and Prince William were among the first to learn of the pregnancy. As a mum of three, Kate is full of words of wisdom about what motherhood entails, says the source. She has been giving Meghan tips on what to eat and how to conceal her small bump. The source adds that Meghan is nervous about starting a family, while Harry is more worried about what happens when the girls grow up. Harry will be a protective father, says the source. Meanwhile, insiders also confirm the exciting news to the National Enquirer. It's amazing. Just incredible, a friend gushed to the Enquirer. But they won't announce for some time, or until the end of the first trimester, as is the American custom. Another insider reportedly told the U.S. publication, all the signs have been there for months now. It's wonderful news to be sure but it shouldn't come as a shock to anyone. The Enquirer's shocking report claims 36-year-old Meghan secretly visited fertility doctors before her May 19th wedding to Prince Harry, who was sixth in the line to the British throne. Harry and Meghan wanted to get pregnant as quickly as possible after their wedding, a friend tells. They both know that as Meghan gets older, it can get increasingly harder to conceive and they are both keenly aware of her vulnerability to health complications and the chance of miscarriage the older she gets. Along with fertility checkups, Meghan also visited London-based nutritionist Melanie Brown at Kensington Palace, insiders told the Enquirer. Brown, a specialist in fertility, IF, and pregnancy, who works out of Duke Street, gave Megan pointers on preconceptual and pregnancy nutrition, including weight loss and gain and immune issues. Harry, 33, also reportedly stepped up, meeting with nutritionist Gabriella Peacock on how we can drop weight and boost fertility. Megan and Harry's exciting baby news will mark the first time the monarchy has welcomed twins in almost 600 years. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's twin joy may have been the help of his genetics. Harry's uncle, his mother Princess Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, has identical twin daughters. The royal's great-grandfather, Edmund Maurice Burke Roach, the fourth Baron Fermoy, was also an identical twin. One insider told the Enquirer, We all know where the genes for twins comes from and it wasn't the House of Windsor on Harry's side. You might romantically say this is Diana's last gift to her youngest son. Will Meghan Markle be a boy? This is the question many recently asked, after the cover of the new issue of Women's Day Australia, which announced that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had decided to take a one-month leave of royal duties. The issue aroused the curiosity of many about the truth of Meghan's pregnancy, her decision to stay away from the royal palace on vacation with her husband, and the image of Prince Charles, the father of Prince Harry holding two bears in blue, raising doubts that Meghan was a boy. However, informed sources pointed out that the image of Prince Charles dates back more than a month, during his trip to Devon, has nothing to do with the pregnancy of Meghan. She and Prince Harry will not be on vacation, especially since they have been in Italy for a while and have been in Oxfordshire, but they have a host of invitations for events to meet. 
The news comes in parallel with the announcement of the royal couple's trip to Australia in October. The journal's sources attributed the timing of the grip to Meghan being in a slightly advanced stage of pregnancy, accustomed to its symptoms, and therefore travel would be easy. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's new home has two very important rooms that the royal couple allegedly plan on occupying as soon as possible. Radar Online has reported that the couple is continuing to renovate a new home gifted to them by Queen Elizabeth named Adelaide Cottage and are decorating two rooms for use as nurseries as some of their first to be completed. Sources close to the couple are allegedly buzzing that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are already expecting, according to Radar. Harry and Meghan both feel Adelaide Cottage is the perfect place for them to raise a family together, a source close to the couple noted to Radar. But given that they're rushing to make room for a baby, palace insiders are whispering that they could be expecting already, alleges Radar. The couple noted during their official engagement interview that they were planning to have a family as soon as possible. Prince Harry confirmed that he would love to be a dad, and Markle concurred stating it's her dream to start a family. Adelaide Cottage is located in Windsor, where the couple famously married on May 19, 2018. Windsor is where they got married, the insider remarked to Radar. The couple's new home is just a short drive from St. George's Chapel, where the two tied the knot in a grand ceremony and faded by the town's residents, who lined the streets to laud the newlyweds after their touching ceremony. Meghan fell in love with the area in the run-up to the wedding and found it charming. And while they'll still be close to Prince William and Kate Middleton, their current neighbors at Kensington Palace, Harry, and Meghan both like that they'll also have some space to themselves, alleges the royal source to the site. Meghan Markle has been somewhat elusive lately, rumor to be in Canada, then Italy, then Scotland. So where exactly is Meghan? And when is her next royal engagement? Meghan was said to have jetted off to her former home of Toronto, Canada, earlier this month, but the grip was not confirmed by Kensington Palace. Then, Harry and Megs were said to have jetted off to Lake Como, Italy, to spend some time lapping up the Mediterranean sunshine with George and Amal Clooney. But again, this speculation was not confirmed and it is not known if the Duke and Duchess were indeed with their fellow power couple pals. Now, it seems almost certain we know where they are, partaking in a royal tradition of joining the Queen for some summer downtime at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. All members of the close royal family are expected to spend some time with the Queen at Balmoral at some point over the summer. Activities would include picnics, barbecues, long country walks and deer hunting, though animal-loving Meghan might not be too keen on the latter. The barbecues at Balmoral are particularly famous, with staff setting everything up and then scuppering for the royals to take over. According to Brian Hoey's book At Home with the Queen, Staff set up family picnics and then move to a discreet distance where they can keep an eye on things and be within calling range if needed. He added, the queen pours the tea but that is the extent of her culinary efforts. Every year, a number of fabulous parties and dances are hosted at the castle, which Meghan will get the chance to enjoy. The weekend would have been the perfect chance for the couple to introduce the family to their new dog, a Labrador which they reportedly got at the beginning of the summer. But the summer can't last forever, and the loved up royals will be heading back to work soon. When is Meghan's next royal engagement? Meghan and Harry are likely to be suffering from end-of-holiday blues. Their first public engagement in months will take place tomorrow evening. Kensington Palace has confirmed that the Duke and Duchess will attend the gala performance of Hamilton at the Victoria Palace Theatre on Wednesday, August 29. The production is collaborating with St. Bell, the charity founded by Prince Harry and Prince CEO of Lesotho, to raise awareness and funds for the charity's work with children and young people affected by Hive in southern Africa. After that, 
They'll attend the annual Well Child Awards at the Royal Lancaster Hotel on Tuesday, September 4. Prince Harry is a patron of Well Child, a national charity which aims to give children and young people with serious illnesses a chance to recover at home with their families. And after that, we'll see them at a gala music evening in aid of three charities close to the Prince's heart, Help for Heroes Combat Stress and Heads Together. The evening will be a one-off concert at Central Hall Westminster and will mark the end of World War I. And that's all we know for now regarding the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's autumn plans. No announcement for the Queen's upcoming activities has yet been made, but she is expected back in London at some point in November. <laughs>